Ronnie Biggs, one of Britain's most notorious criminals, has died at the age of 84. Biggs was sentenced for the 1963 robbery of a mail train, but escaped from prison and spent 30 years on the run before returning voluntarily from Brazil in 2001. Ronnie Biggs was jailed for 30 years for his role in the infamous £2.5 million robbery of a Glasgow to London night mail train in 1963. At the time, it was the biggest heist ever. Nobody was killed, but the driver of the train, Jack Mills, was badly injured and was never able to return to work. But in 1965, after serving just 15 months, Biggs escaped from Wandsworth Prison and went on the run. First to Australia, before finally settling in Rio de Janeiro, where he became a Brazilian citizen. Attempts to have him extradited failed because he'd fathered a child there. In Rio, he became Britain's best-known fugitive, entertaining tourists, conducting media interviews and taunting the police back home. But the celebrity lifestyle came to an end as his health began to fail and he indicated that he'd be prepared to give himself up. I don't visualise myself going back to prison for, for, for such a long time. I think, uh, I think what I've established over these years, uh, established like an, an honest way of living, this must go uh, in my favour, I think, and some future parole board. In 2001, he returned to Britain voluntarily after 26 years on the run. He appealed against his sentence, but was turned down. Ronnie Biggs was sent back to jail to serve out his 30 years, but was released in 2009 after contracting pneumonia. He remained in poor health since and was last seen in public at the funeral of his fellow great train robber Bruce Reynolds back in March. John O'Driscoll, RTE News.